The most common theory for when a black hole forms is when a colossal star with a mass of more than three times the sun's explodes, getting crushed under its own gravity, and leaves behind a compact black hole. Scientists believe that it's very likely that most black holes are located in the center of galaxies where the concentration of stars is really high, so they explode, forming little black holes, and eventually all the black holes swallow each other until there's just one big black hole left in the center of the galaxy. Black holes can be many different sizes depending on what object they have formed from. Their radius is usually about 2 million miles, which is four times the sun. Many theories say that black holes are just made up of matter, including light. Nobody can really know for sure because nothing can get out, so there's nothing for scientists to measure or explore. So far, we know where black holes are usually located and we know their average size, but we don't know what's in them besides mass. Learning about black holes is hard since we can't see what's inside them. Scientists use telescopes and satellites to study about the rest of the universe so that can help us find out more about black holes. One theory for the future of black holes is that eventually black holes will dominate the universe. As the black hole's mass decreases, its temperature increases, becoming compar comparable to the sun's by the time it decreases to 1,019 kilograms. The hole then provides a temporary source of light during the general darkness of the black hole era. During the last stages of the black hole's evaporation, it will let out mass, less particles, and also heavier particles such as electrons, protons, and antiprotons. An English geologist named John Mitchell was one of the key people who ever even thought of the concept of a black hole by considering the concept of a mass so large that light could not escape. Later, a French mathematician named Pierre Simon thought of the same thing. It was Albert Einstein in 1915 that created the mathematical thinking of the theory of relativity which describes black holes the best. Stephen Hawking has also been known for doing calculations on evaporating black holes and so-called Hawking radiation.